Namaskar and good evening. Our special invitees, officials, distinguished dignitaries, awardees and delegates, respected members of the press and media, ladies and gentlemen. A very warm welcome to the 9th FIKI Higher Education Excellence Awards 2023. FIKI Higher Education Excellence Awards were instituted in the year 2014 to recognize and felicitate the achievements and excellent work done by the institutions and individuals who have set benchmarks of excellence and are doing inspirational and exemplary work in the higher education space. Sharing of good practices through the platform of FIKI Higher Education Excellence Awards will surely help to raise the status of learning and teaching in Indian higher education sector. And ladies and gentlemen, I have the privilege in inviting on stage Mr. Manav Majumdar, Senior Advisor FIKI, to begin the proceedings with his welcome address. Let's put our hands together, ladies and gentlemen, to welcome Mr. Manav Majumdar, sir. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Uh, Namaskar. Distinguished jury members, nominees of the FIKI Higher Education Excellence Awards, esteemed members of FIKI Higher Education Committee, distinguished delegates, industry leaders, ladies and gentlemen. I am delighted to welcome you all to the ninth edition of the FIKI Higher Education Excellence Awards 2023. Thank you so much for kindly joining us this evening to celebrate the outstanding contributions and achievements of institutions as well as individuals who have made significant strides in improving the quality of higher education in the country. Friends, since the inception in 2014, FIKI Higher Education Excellence Awards have served as an important catalyst to promote excellence and innovation in India's higher education landscape. The awards, I'm confident, they have been instrumental and as they aim to honor individuals and institutions for their outstanding contributions and commitment to teaching, excellence and research, delivery in education, capacity building, technology integration and development, and internationalization of education in India. Ladies and gentlemen, as you are aware, FIKI is fully committed to support the government's vision of crafting a higher education system that not only preserves this remarkable legacy, but propels us into a new era defined by research, innovation, inclusivity, and excellence. This year, let me share with you, we have received 200 plus applications highlighting the outstanding work taking place in the higher education arena. Each submission demonstrated exceptional dedication and a sincere commitment to creating a meaningful impact and transforming students' lives. The stringent and transparent evaluation process for this award was led by an independent high-level jury consisting of senior leaders from both industry and academia. The meticulous process ensured that only institutions demonstrating groundbreaking and pathbreaking innovations come out 
as winners. Notably, the jury panel was chaired by Dr. R. M. Ashilkar, the former director of the CSIR. ENY, the official tabulator for the awards, has played an important role in further strengthening the overall evaluation process. Ladies and gentlemen, while we celebrate the accomplishments of today's winners, it is critical to keep in mind that FIKI Higher Education Excellence Awards represent the absolute pinnacle of achievement in the field. We encourage you to see this recognition as an opportunity for ongoing growth and evolution in your chosen area and field. Once again, congratulations in advance to all the finalists. I hope that their case studies serve as important milestone and inspiration for others in our collective journey to, journey to position India as a global education hub. Thank you all for your patience and I hope you all would enjoy this evening. Thank you so much. Namaskar. Thank you very much indeed, sir, for your warm words. And may I request you to kindly stay back on the stage and do the honors of presenting the award. I would also like to invite, along with Sri Manav Majumdar, sir, Dr. Vidya, Chair Fiki, Higher Education Committee, and Pro Chancellor Symbiosis International University. I also invite Professor Sovik Bhattacharya, Co Chair Fiki, Higher Education Committee. And I would like to invite Dr. Rajesh Pankaj, Director and Head, Education and Skills, Fiki. Ladies and gentlemen, today at the 9th FIKI Higher Education Excellence Award Ceremony, we are here to honor and celebrate the remarkable contributions of institutions and individuals who have redefined education and transformed lives with their unwavering commitment to excellence. In the dynamic landscape of higher education, where innovation and excellence light the path, these pioneers, visionaries and change makers have left an indelible mark on India's higher education landscape. Our first category this evening is excellence in creating employment, which acknowledges institutions that have achieved outstanding success in creating innovative routes to meaningful employment for their students. Through the cultivation of robust industry connections, immersive hands-on learning experiences, intensive internships and exceptional placement support, these institutions play an active role in generating value employment opportunities and shaping a workforce ready to tackle the real world challenges. And ladies and gentlemen, the nominations in the category of excellence in creating employment are Ninth Fiki Higher Education Excellence Award Ceremony. We are here to honor and celebrate the remarkable contributions of institutions and individuals who have redefined education and transformed lives with their unwavering commitment to excellence. In the dynamic landscape of higher education, where innovation and excellence light the path, these pioneers, visionaries and change makers have left an indelible mark on India's higher education landscape. And ladies and gentlemen, before we announce the winner, I would also like to invite our eminent jury member, Mr. Nishit in the category Jain, of ex EFMD on stage. And ladies and gentlemen, the winner in this category is Symbiosis Institute of Business Management, Pune. Let's put our hands together for them. Excellence in creating employment are Atlas Kiltek University, Mumbai. Let's put our hands together for the winners, Symbiosis Institute of Business Management, Pune. Vishwakarma Institute of Information Technology, Pune. 
Ladies and gentlemen, can we put our hands together for the winners? Started in the year 1978. It is rated as one of the top 10 B schools uh, by different agencies. We are ranked 17th when it comes to NIRF ranking. It, uh, SABM Pune is recognized for excellence in academics, valuable contribution to industry and society because our alums hold a lot of good positions in the industry. And many of them have been entrepreneurs as well. We consistently you, prepare our students for successful careers through internships, projects and skill development. Extensive alumni network and the student driven culture which is making us a very strong contender and our unique project can serve as a template for others to emulate. And ladies and gentlemen, the special jury recognition in this category is presented to SRM University, Andhra Pradesh. Special jury recognition, SRM University, Andhra Pradesh. We have international placement cell, a dedicated international placement cell which help our students to get placements in international companies. We have established a Pan-India Placement Network which had given us 800 plus recruitment partners. We also have unique skilling initiatives. We had courses embedded in the curriculum, placement oriented courses embedded in the curriculum which help the students to excel in the interviews. We have 34% uh, of our alumni placed in Fortune 500 companies. And congratulations our to SRM for the University for the Andhra Pradesh. Pradesh. And ladies and gentlemen, our next category is Excellence in Globalization, which celebrates the institutions that embrace diversity and their expanded global educational horizons. This award recognizes institutions that excel in internalization, fostering cross-cultural understanding, collaboration and exchange, and have significantly internationalized teaching and learning experience. And the nominations in the category of excellence in globalization are... Nominations in the category of excellence in globalization are... Chitkara University, Punjab. Indian Institute of Technology, Roorkee, Manipal Academy of Higher Education, Manipal, Marwari University, Gujarat, Parul University, Gujarat, Pearl Academy, Delhi, and Vellore Institute of Technology, Tamil Nadu. And ladies and gentlemen, the winners of the category are Manipal Academy of Higher Education, Manipal. Recognized as one of the top private universities in India. We have the tag of institution of eminence. We have top ranked institutions under our university. 25 professional higher education, 14 teaching departments, 100 plus specialized centers, 36 disciplines running Ladies 329 plus programs for and 3000 plus faculty education. members with 30,000 students. A double plus NAC accredited institution with 3.65 score, institution of eminence and we are ranked at the 6th position by the NIRF in the university category. And ladies and gentlemen, the special jury recognition in this category is presented to Vellore Institute of Technology. Special jury recognition, Vellore Institute of Technology. India should lead the world and VAT should lead India in education and research. So with this, uh, uh, why should VAT win the award? Uh, just because that the number of uh, publications over the last five years is uh, going on increasing which reflects on the quantity and the H index, citation index and uh, um, uh, citation index, I10 index, all the metrics is also going on increasing for the last five years which reflects on the quality. Both quantity and quality of research is uh, very good in VAT. Uh, with, uh, with the recent motivations such as Raman Research Award, Abdul Kalam Award, enhanced stipend for research scholars, faculty uh, financial uh, contributions to the to the faculty members and research scholars for uh, uh, for conferences in and uh, around uh, uh, around india uh, and open access journal publications which encourages the faculty members research scholars and students to move to further level in research and ladies and gentlemen the next category of excellence in institutional Social responsibility honors institutions that embody exceptional dedication to fostering a positive social impact and whose steadfast commitment is instrumental in promoting inclusivity, advancing community development and nurturing a culture of responsible citizenship. And the nominations are... 
nominations in the category of Excellence in Institutional Social Responsibility are Amrita Vishwa Vidyapitam Kerala Panasthali Vidyapit Rajasthan Chitkara University Himachal Pradesh Manav Rachna International Institute of Research and Studies Haryana Nitte NITTE deemed to be University Karnataka Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology Chennai Sona College of Technology Tamil Nadu Tata Institute of Social Sciences Mumbai And the winners of this category are Tata Institute of Social Sciences Mumbai Our uh, whole curriculum engages with with uh, the many many fieldwork activity what we call it fieldwork today we have uh, 14 field action projects in the area of health education uh, marginalized communities ladies and gentlemen um, once uh, again let's put our hands to together for the data institute of social sciences mumbai social justice families children and so on last uh, financial year which was the year of 21 22 22 23 we reached out to more than 46000 people through direct services Uh, through these different field action projects and the field work that students are doing uh, through as part of their uh, curriculum and there have been more than 40 publications in one year peer reviewed journals based on the uh, work that has been done by the faculty and the students of the institute and ladies and gentlemen moving on let's celebrate the pioneers in research innovation and entrepreneurship this category acknowledges institutions that have shown exceptional dedication to nurturing a culture of research innovation and entrepreneurship they provide students with an environment that fosters high quality research translating its outcome into impactful real world solutions and the nominations in this category are nominations in the category of excellence in research innovation and entrepreneurship are Anand Agricultural University Gujarat Birla Institute of Technology and Science Pilani Central University of Haryana Indian Institute of Technology Kanpur Indraprastha Institute of Information Technology Delhi National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosciences Bengaluru Sheri Kashmir University of Agricultural Sciences and Technology of Kashmir Vellore Institute of Technology Tamil Nadu SRM Institute of Science and Technology Chennai Tamil Nadu Agricultural University and UPES Dehradun And ladies and gentlemen the winner of this category is National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosciences Bangalore Nimhans has got several strides in terms of starting off as a mental hospital also including neuro center neurobiology research center combining rehabilitation and recently also with respect to yoga and rehabilitation as a larger agenda we are a cutting edge research institution which combines patient care with uh, academics we pioneer activities from lab to land and bench to bedside uh, we are looking at impactful sustainable community based models which will become the uh, hallmark for the country and let's once again put our hands together for them and our next category the university of the year celebrates universities that have built lasting ecosystems and showcased unwavering commitment to excellence in all aspects of university administration their consistent and outstanding performance has led to remarkable outcomes leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of higher education in india and the nominations in this category are nominations in the category of university of the year emerging are all india institute of medical sciences bhopal datta meghe institute of higher education and research maharashtra kamdhenu university gandhi nagar rajiv gandhi institute of petroleum technology amethi sharda university greater noida shivnadar institute of eminence greater noida and ubes Dehradun And ladies and gentlemen the winner of this category is All India Institute of Medical Sciences Bhopal 
So our institute started in 2012 under the Pradhan Mantri Swastha Suraksha Yojana of the Ministry this of Health and Family Welfare This is the University of the Year emerging. And as the word Swastha Suraksha imply, our basic mandate was to correct the regional imbalances in the healthcare sector. Though funded majorly by the ministry, we were an autonomous institute with the freedom and flexibility to expand and build upon the basic mandate that was given to us. And it was this freedom of operation that enabled us to envision ourselves as a center of excellence in healthcare, education, research and delivery. And our mission Congratulations to, to kind of all India Institute of Medical Sciences, Bhopal, the University of the Year emerging. The healthcare practices that address the unique needs of disadvantaged populations and at the same time foster medical research that addresses pertinent questions relevant for the healthcare needs of our country. And ladies and gentlemen, our nominations in the category of University of the Year established are Nominations in the category of University of the Year established are Dr. C. V. Raman University, Chhattisgarh Indira Gandhi National Open University, Delhi Manipal Academy of Higher Education, Manipal National Institute of Technology, Tiruchirappalli Orisha University of Agriculture and Technology and Satya Bhama Institute of Science and Technology, Chennai and ladies and gentlemen, the winners of the category of University of the Year established are Dr. C.V. Raman University, Chhattisgarh. C.V.R.U. Bilaspur is the fastest emerging university in India, which is uh, ensuring a new era of higher education in the tribal belt of uh, Chhattisgarh. We have more than 180 national and foreign educational institutions, MOUs uh, signed with them. We have um, uh, students from the more than 22 states. Tribal student, as we are situated in the tribal belt, more than 70% students are from the STSC and OBC category, rural background. Uh, we are providing an excellent infrastructure, academic ambience with the ICT enabled classroom, well equipped modern laboratories for effective teaching and learning process. And ladies and gentlemen, the special jury recognition award in this category is presented to Orissa University of Agriculture and Technology. Special Jury Recognition, Odisha University of Agriculture and Technology. This is the lone farm university of the state. It imparts education through 10 consumer colleges, one center for postgraduate studies, and 10 agro polytechnic centers. Research activities is taken up by 12 regional research technology transfer stations, 7 commodity research stations, and 51 All India Coordinated Research Projects. The transfer of technology to farmers field drawn through 31 KVH uh, present across the states. And ladies and gentlemen, finally, the Lifetime Achievement Award is presented this year to Dr. Harish Chandra Varma. Unfortunately, he could not be present here today. We'll have it sent across to him. But we have a CV here. Lifetime Achievement Award, Professor Harish Chandra Varma. Professor Varma served as a distinguished professor in the Department of Physics at the renowned Indian Institute of Technology, Kanpur. Prior to his tenure at IIT Kanpur, he dedicated a significant portion of his career to teaching and research at Science College, Patna University where he held positions as a lecturer and reader from 1979 to 1994. Throughout his extensive career, Professor Varma's research interests have spanned a wide array of topics, including nanofabrication through focused iron beam techniques, the intriguing effects of iron beam irradiation on graphite magnetism, the study of nanoscale magnetic materials, investigations into iron-based alloys, and the intricate world of earth science. Professor Verma's dedication to the advancement of scientific knowledge is evident in his impressive portfolio 
or 139 research papers published in esteemed and respected academic journals. Professor Verma's commitment to innovative teaching methods is also notable. He has meticulously crafted over 600 physics experiments that teachers can employ as dynamic classroom demonstrations, elevating the learning experience for countless students. Professor Harish Chandra Verma's dedication to the field of physics and his relentless efforts in education have been exemplary. His contributions have significantly impacted the landscape of physics education in India and his role as an executive committee member of the Indian Association of Physics Teachers, IAPT, further underscores his ongoing commitment to enhancing physics education in schools and colleges across the nation. In recognition of an illustrious career marked by unwavering dedication and tireless contributions to the realms of physics and education, FIKI proudly presents the Lifetime Achievement Award 2023 to Professor Harish Chandra Barma. And let's once again put our hands together for the Lifetime Achievement Awardee, Dr. Harish Chandra Barma, as I once again invite on stage all our distinguished winners for a group photograph with all our eminent dignitaries here on the stage. You may carry your trophies with you for the photographs. And ladies and gentlemen, let's once again put our hands together for all our winners for winning this coveted award this year. The ninth FIKI Higher Education Excellence Awards 2023. We have all the winners on the stage. Thank you very much indeed. And ladies and gentlemen, I would now like to invite Dr. Rajesh Pankaj, Director and Head Education and Skills, FIKI, to kindly propose a few words of thanks. Over to you, sir. Uh, good evening, uh, everyone. It's my pleasure and privilege to extend the vote of thanks at this 9th FIKI Higher Education Excellence Awards 2023. This is an award that we've been kind of observing last eight years, and we are honored to nurture this platform dedicated to celebrated excellence in higher education sector. We are grateful indeed to our distinguished jury panel, which of course is led by Dr. Arya Mashelkar former Director General CSIR and esteemed jury members from industry, the invaluable contribution and the rigor through which we pass through as far as the shortlisting process of this whole award is concerned is something that we are very, very much indebted to and we take uh, immense pride uh, in ensuring that we are able to keep the, the credibility quotient of this award to the extent possible. A special acknowledgement of course is for EY that has been uh, partnering with us as an official tabulator and for the meticulous work that they do in ensuring that the data and other information that are furnished by the participants are validated through a neutral source. I would also like to express my heartfelt thanks to the award core group members. We already have Ms. Nishit Jain who was there and have been supporting this initiative for years now. The visionary thinking, thought process, the direction, the unwavering support and faith that they've bestowed in this whole process is something that we really feel uh, very happy about. A special mention goes 
to all the nominees and award participants, your trust in us and active participation in the awards have been pivotal. We anticipate your continued support in spreading the positive impact of these recognitions in the coming years. Uh, one thing I just wanted to mention, I mean, this is this ninth year has been a little special and different for us. I mean, we've been getting a lot of emailers from senior higher education leaders who did participate and perhaps could not make it to the final stage. And there have been very genuine questions as to what is it that they should do so that they get into this whole space uh, of you know becoming finalists and presenting the cases in front of jury, to which we are working, uh, which will work, to which we'll be working on uh, in terms of bringing in more objectivity and. Uh, some kind of a framework which then becomes easier for them to understand and develop uh, you know in terms of where they go wrong and what is the area that they need to work upon so that is something that we as wiki have been kind of thinking about and going forward we'll only strive hard to make it as objective as possible but one thing is for sure the process and the rigor that we go through is something that they all have been you know kind of appreciating about but yes we take the point positively and we would want to work further on it and kind of try and improve that framework just to ensure that they're able to understand the areas that they should work upon so that they get into this whole space of becoming finalists for the subsequent years. So once again, thank you very much and congratulations to all the winners. Uh, I would request you all to kind of come and join us tomorrow for the session that we start off with, the Higher Education Secretary at 10 o'clock. And of course, I'll now request you all to come and join us for dinner. Thank you so much. Thank you very much indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, inviting everybody to kindly join us for dinner served on the first floor. And tomorrow we begin at 9 o'clock with the B2B meetings organized on the first floor. And our first session here at 10 o'clock will be addressed by the Honorable Secretary Higher Education, Government of India. We would request everyone to be seated in time for the same. Thank you very much indeed. Have a wonderful evening ahead. Safe drive home. Good night and namaskar.